One afternoon in 1980, a little girl named Violet wanders off while camping with her family in Florida woods. She meets a woman named Rose the Hat, who entertains her with magic tricks. Feeling uneasy about people watching them, Violet tries to return to her family. Rose holding Violet's hand says those people are her friends and calls Violet special. The group surrounds Violet. Meanwhile, little Dan Torrance is still scared from what happened at the Overlook Hotel. The ghost from room 237 still haunts him in Florida. His mother is worried because he hasn't spoken since the incident. Dan has a special power called the Shine, which lets him talk to the spirit of Dick Halloran. Dick explains that dark things feed on the Shine, but they can be trapped using it. He shows Dan how to build a box in his mind to trap the ghost. That night, Dan traps the bathtub ghost in his mind box and starts talking normally again. Fast forward 31 years, Dan is living in New Jersey after his mother's death. He has become an alcoholic like his father. One morning, he wakes up next to a woman he met at the bar. Dan tries to leave before she wakes up, but realizes he has no money. He steals from her purse. As he's about to leave, a toddler comes looking for his mommy. He realizes the woman is a drug addict and a single mother. In New York, a teenager named Andy meets an older man from a dating app at a movie theater. Andy looks sweet, but has a special power. She can hypnotize people. She uses this to rob predators and leaves a snake bite mark on their faces, earning her the nickname Snake Bite Andy. Her talent catches the eye of the True Knot, a group of psychics led by Rose the Hat. They seem harmless but feed on the fear and pain of special kids, which kills them. Rose invites Andy to join them, promising long life and youth. That night, the cult initiates Andy on the beach and gives her a taste of Violet's preserved steam. Meanwhile, little Abra celebrates her fifth birthday in New Hampshire. During a magic show, Abra shows off her own magic to her parents. This attracts the attention of Rose and Dan. At the same time, Dan, struggling with his life, moves to Fraser, New Hampshire for a fresh start. He befriends Billy Freeman, the manager of the town's amusement park, who helps him find a place to live and joins him in Alcoholics Anonymous. In the program, Dan meets Dr. John Dalton and gets a job at the hospice. He befriends Azriel, a cat known to sit with dying patients. One day, Azriel goes to an elderly man's room. Dan reassures the man telepathically that dying is natural and he dies peacefully. Comforting patients with his shine, Dan earns the nickname Dr. Sleep. That night, when Dan gets home, he finds hello written on the wall by someone. He replies with hi. Abra, seeing this, goes to bed giggling. Eight years later, Dan is sober and shares his story at Alcoholics Anonymous. He talks about how he inherited his father's drinking problem and communicates uniquely with Abra. Meanwhile, the true knot struggles to find enough steam to feed on. Crow Daddy tells Rose that there are fewer kids with good steam nowadays, maybe because of technology. At Rose's request, she opens a canister of steam for her crew to revive. Crow Daddy finds steam in Iowa, where they persuade a young baseball player, Bradley Trevor, to join them. They take him to a secluded place, mistreat him, and kill him for his steam. Abra senses Bradley's distress and screams for help. Rose senses Abra's strong presence and calls her a looker. Abra tells Dan about the boy's death by writing murder on his wall. After killing the boy, the True Knot buries his body and glove together. Rose tells Crow Daddy they need to find a stronger looker soon. The next day, Abra researches Bradley online and has a vision of how he was kidnapped and killed. She also sees Rose at a supermarket. When Abra concentrates, she projects her mind across the country and Rose tries to enter her mind. Abra pushes Rose out, causing Dan to collapse. Rose tells Crow Daddy they must get Abra because of her strong power. The next day, Abra's mom drops her at school, but she skips and goes to Frasier to meet Dan. They talk about their shine and Abra gives him the printout saying the boy's shine was eaten by a group of people. She wants to find Bradley's body by tracking his glove and asks for Dan's help, but he refuses. He warns her to stay low so the group won't come after her. That night, Dan's friend, Dick, visits the hospice and tells him to protect Abra from the true knock. At night, Rose tries to find Abra while meditating. But when she tries to understand Abra's thoughts, 
She gets frustrated and accidentally gets stuck in Abra's mind. Abra not only enters her mind, but also harms her physically. Rose is thrown back to her own body, feeling angry. But she learns that Grandpa Flick, an old member of their group, is too weak and in pain. The others absorb his energy as he disappears. This proves that the true knot can live a long time by feeding on others, but they aren't immortal. Meanwhile, Abra tells Dan she's entered Rose's mind and hurt her. Dan decides to team up with her to stop the true knot cult. He goes to Billy for help, and they follow Abra's directions to find where a boy is buried. They uncover Bradley's body and his glove. The true knot plans to move because Abra knows about them, and Rose is marked by Abra. Crow Daddy asks Rose to stay back to avoid danger, and he threatens to deal with Abra himself if she tries anything. Dan tells Abra to inform her parents about her powers and their situation. When they visit Abra's house, her dad mistakes Dan for a creep bothering his daughter. Abra has to show her dad how Bradley died using her mind because she has no other choice. After her dad calms down, Abra uses Bradley's glove to find the group's location. She sneaks into their van and figures out where they're going, but Rose isn't with them. Dan and Billy use Abra to lure the group into the woods, but they realize they've been tricked when Andy tries to inject Abra with a fake substance. Dan and Billy start shooting at them, but Andy hypnotizes Billy to kill himself. The dead members of the group turn into dust. Meanwhile, Crow Daddy goes to Abra's house, kills her dad, sedates Abra, and takes her. He warns Abra not to try anything and reveals that she's heavily drugged. Abra cries when she learns about her dad's death. Moments later, Dan finds Abra's dad dead and sadly returns home. He keeps trying to contact Abra and eventually sees her in a car. Dan possesses Abra without Crow Daddy noticing and Abra crashes the car into a tree. Abra loses connection with Dan, but makes sure Crow Daddy suffers before he dies. Later, Abra encounters Rose on the road, but ignores her. Rose, furious after losing her husband, absorbs energy from canisters healing herself and gaining more power. The next day, Dan picks up Abra and they head to the Overlook Hotel in Colorado. Abra gets a call from her worried mom who found her husband dead and Abra missing. Abra ends the call after telling her mom she loves her and asks Dan to call her mom after they finish everything. They reach the Overlook Hotel after crossing snowy mountains. Dan tells Abra to stay in the car and watch for Rose while he goes inside. Dan walks through the hotel facing memories from his past. He goes to the boiler room and sets all the machines to max. Memories flash back as he walks past rooms. He reaches the bar where the bartender Lloyd offers him a drink. Dan talks about moving to Florida and knowing his mom will die, sometimes calling Lloyd his dad. Lloyd looks like Dan's dad, but insists he's just Lloyd the bartender. Abra warns Dan about Rose's arrival, so Dan hurries back to the hotel. They meet Rose, who realizes Dan killed Crow Daddy. Dan traps Rose in an icy maze and Abra hurts her leg, but Rose captures Abra. When Dan tries to lock Rose up, she breaks free. Rose suggests they could have met earlier when Dan was powerful. She offers him to join their group, but Dan refuses and attacks her. Rose easily dodges and throws him down the stairs. Rose overpowers Dan, chokes him and presses his injured leg to drain his energy. She finds boxes in his mind and asks what's inside. Dan opens them, releasing starving ghosts who torture Rose and absorb her energy until she dies. Then the ghosts turn to Dan. He tries to trap them but fails, and they attack him. Abra encounters twin ghosts, but escapes and enters room 237. She meets the bathtub lady ghost, and the possessed Dan follows her inside. Dan, under the influence of a spirit, tries to attack Abra with an axe, but he stops himself. Abra calms him down and brings him back to his senses. Dan urges Abra to escape while he follows. He heads to the boiler room where he fights to regain control from the hotel spirit, trying to stop him from shutting down the machine. Meanwhile, he sees a comforting vision of his mother from his childhood. Abra, outside, watches the hotel burn, hoping Dan will make it out safely. A few days later, Abra chats with Dan's spirit in her room. He encourages her to keep being herself. Abra's mom enters and asks who she's talking to. Abra initially says no one, but then admits it's Dan. She reassures her mom that both Dan and her dad are fine. Abra's mom gets a bit worried but accepts Abra's ability. After her mom leaves, 
Abra goes to the bathroom and faces the ghost in the bathtub confidently. The movie ends there. Thanks for watching.